Welcome back to Coach's Kitchen. Sorry it's been so long between drinks, but I've moved house, so we have a brand new kitchen to use. Uh, today we're gonna season a wok. I'm gonna show you how to season a wok. It's a great way to get healthy and delicious and nutritious food into you. Um, the woks are really handy, very easy to use, but they do need seasoning when you start. So let's get into it. Wok and wall. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is unpack the wok, get rid of all the packing material. Uh, it does come with uh, oil from the factory. It's just to stop the rust while it's in transit and sitting in the shops. So this is the only time your wok's ever gonna touch a detergent. We just need to wash that oil off with hot soapy water, which I prepared earlier. All right, now that we've washed that and thoroughly dried it, what we wanna do is add some oil on a low heat. I'm using peanut oil, so avoid vegetable oil. Use something like peanut oil. It has a high smoke point, which is perfect for cooking at high temperatures and perfect for seasoning our wok. So we'll just get the medium heat on. Remember which one it is. This is quite a big burner, so we'll turn that now nice and low. We'll put a bit of peanut oil in there. Oops, she's brand new, so I need to open that. We might just edit this bit out. There we go. So just a little bit, just enough to coat the inside. Then we want to grab some white paper towel and just rub the peanut oil all the way around, around all the sides of the pan, along the bottom. And you can see there's a bit of black on there, so we want to keep wiping until that black disappears. The black is just the old machine oil that it came with, that rust proof oil I spoke about at the start. And we keep wiping. See how it's still black. So don't skimp on this process. Um, it might take a while. It's a tiny bit of black there still. Might take a while to get this done, but just keep going, be patient. Really work the oil in to make sure all of that machine oil is completely gone. We want our own fresh organic coating on here. So just keep going until you're, oh, there we go. Nice and clear now. There's not much black residue on there. As you see it's smoking a little bit, not to worry. That's just the oil burning off and soaking into our carbon fiber, oh, carbon fiber, our carbon pan. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, as you can see, we've reached smoking point. <clears throat> There's a little bit of dark color happening at the bottom here. Don't worry about that. That's exactly what we want to happen. As soon as this smoke starts happening, we can turn it off and we'll let it cool down. All right, now we've let that wok cool down a little bit. We're gonna bring it back for the last part of the process. This time we wanna turn the heat up nice and high. Crank it right up. Just a little bit of oil again. Coat the whole pan. With that, the bottom, all the outside. Make sure we get everything coated. And then we just want to make sure that we heat every part of the pan so that it all becomes this black colour down the bottom for that rainbow effect. So we'll let that heat right back up until it starts smoking again. As you can see, we've got a lot of smoke happening here on the high heat. It's starting to really brown up on the bottom. Just make sure there's no pooling of the oil anywhere, no drips, so it gets nice smooth coating. So you can see it's really turning dark brown. If you come in here and have a look up the top, it's going really dark now. This is exactly what we want. And now we're gonna start heating all the sides of the pan as well, so they get that dark color into it as well. This will take a little while. Be patient, you only have to do this once in the wax life as long as you treat it well and clean it properly and not use detergents on it. So you can start seeing that darkness creeping up the pan as this is heating up now. It's a bit hard with the handle bit. Things are a bit warm. But you can see how all that side now is nice and dark colour. This is the bit that hasn't been heated yet. You can see the difference. We're aiming for that colour all the way around. <clears throat> you can do this as many times as you want, 
do it two or three times. Two times is probably enough as long as you've got that really dark coating across everywhere. So that dark coloring is what gives our wok its non-stick properties. It's the oil burning into the pan. That's why we don't ever want to wash it with detergent. We don't want to get rid of that non-stick surface. So we want to make sure we get everything, make sure we get around the handle. It's a bit of a tricky one. Don't burn the wood. Oh. <laughs> don't burn the wood. It's hot. Don't touch it. It is hot, so be careful. Burn it myself. She is bloody hot, I tell you. Old mate over here, he's sick of the process. Almost there now. I've said it a lot of times, you do have to be patient. This is the one and only time you're gonna get the chance to do this properly, so do it properly the first time, and you'll never have a problem. All right, there we go. Ooh, squeaky. I reckon that's done. You can see how that whole thing now is all black in colour. Beautiful. That's our natural non-stick seasoning. So you can turn the heat off. Like I said, you can do it again if you want. Let it cool down a little bit. It's enough to touch uh, without burning yourself. Add a little bit more oil, coat it again, reheat it on a high heat again. Um, that could give you an extra thick coating. Um, but it's really important now that you never wash it with detergent. Just warm water and a soft sponge is all you need. Otherwise, you're going to get rid of this seasoning on here. So we'll come back in a couple of weeks' time. Maybe even next week, we'll see how we go. We're going to make a delicious and nutritious meal using our brand new, brand new seasoned wok. Uh, and then we'll show you how to clean it then as well. All right, thanks for joining us in Coach's Kitchen today to season our wok. Uh, until next time, wok on.